One last offseason move that each and every team in, in the NFL should make. Uh, this is by ESPN. And the Browns is extend Wyatt Teller. What do you make of that one? So it's interesting because it's brought up in conjunction with the idea of also extending Nick Chubb. They're both done uh, at the same time. And the, the interesting choice there is to do Teller instead of Chubb. And I, I kind of agree with it, quite honestly. Uh, Teller came from out of nowhere. Um, well, not, not out of nowhere. Fifth round pick in Buffalo. It didn't really work out for him. First year in Cleveland was okay. Um, he, he showed some potential, but didn't didn't show anything. And the signs that he was going to be the breakout star that he was. He was a phenomenal player last year. Uh, the team rushed for 5.2 yards with him in the lineup, 3.6 yards per carry with him out of the lineup. That's very significant. Wyatt Teller makes Nick Chubb better. Now, does Nick Chubb make Wyatt Teller better? Yeah, probably. Uh, that, that's probably true as well. But getting the guard and, and getting getting it, a young offensive lineman who fits in so well with what, with what offensive line coach Bill Callahan preaches and teaches and what Kevin Stepanski as the head coach wants, that's fantastic because uh, Nick Chubb is a great running back. Um, you'll never hear me say that he's not a great running back. But they also have Kareem Hunt. They also have other fish to fry around him. Um, and the the drop-off without Teller, I think, is is very significant. It's very telling, not, not to be corny with the, the pun or anything. But uh, And, by the way, um, he's probably going to be a little bit cheaper because he really only does have the one year of track record, and you're banking on a guy who, who's an ascending talent. I think everybody knows how good Nick Chubb is. I don't think everybody realizes just how good and important Wyatt Teller is. And locking him up, a, I think it keeps Chubb happy for another season. B, you have the option with running backs, you got to be real careful about overpaying and committing too much time to running backs. Look what happened with Todd Gurley in Los Angeles. Look what happened with Zeke Elliott in Dallas. Phenomenal running backs, very talented guys. But th there's a shelf life for a running back, and you don't want to be paying for beyond that shelf life. Um, if you can franchise tag Nick Chubb or, or get him for you know two more seasons locked up early on, I think that's probably the way to go. But Teller is a guy that you can pay long term. He's still young. He's still, I, I believe he's 25 years old. You know, lock him up, get him under contract, get that offensive line stabilized. Uh, you're going to have some transition there at some point. You know, J.C. Treader and and even Joel Batonio, they can't play forever. Although I wouldn't doubt it about Joel Batonio <laughs> if he could play several more years really good. But, yeah, I, I like the idea of having the solid line, and you don't, don't have to worry about that. Again, with, with Chubb, you can franchise tag him. It's going to pay him or or give him the – figure out what it would cost to franchise tag him for two seasons and give him that extension and then worry about that in, in the long term. It, it's much much, much more uh, integral to get Teller done before Chubb. I know I know that flies in the face of a lot of people who think that, that Nick Chubb is the most important player on the team. Uh, and he might be in the offense uh, in 2020. 2021, I think they're going to diversify a little bit more. Um, and, and then that's not the slight Chubb. But uh, the offense does not work without the good offensive line. I think that's something that the entire, you know, tree that Stefanski comes from, the coaching tree, um, you've got to have the line in place. Uh, that was one of the issues that happened in 2019. That's one of the reasons why they brought in Jack Conklin last year, drafted Jedrick Wills. Both of those were very positive moves. Keep building that lineup. Make it so Baker Mayfield doesn't have to worry. Make it so when, when Kareem Hunt comes into the game, he can still be effective. Um, and Dearness Johnson and Demetric Felton, when he's taking some snaps back there in the backfield, you got to have that line. Uh, that, 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 that is more important than the running back, even as good and as unique and uniquely talented and, and uniquely effective as Nick Chubb is.